Sit back and throw one back with your pinky in the air and a middle finger to the world. And join me, the eclectic gentleman, Stephen Watts, as we look back on this day in pro wrestling history. But before we do, put that drink down, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is July 17th. And we're going to start off as we always do on a positive note. That's right. These are your pro wrestling birthdays. 1959, referee Randy Anderson. 1970, the luchador known as Dr. X. 1975, veteran women's wrestler Daphne. And last but not least, 1986, the vivacious Lacey Von Erich. Of course, on the flip side of that coin, your pro wrestling deaths for July 17th. 1988. Bruiser Brody. All right, enough of the sad stuff. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes. That's right. These are your pro wrestling history highlights for July 17th. Jumping in the Wayback Machine and going to 1950. Johnny Valentine defeats Danny Dusk for the Florida NWA Southern Heavyweight title in Tampa, Florida. 1957, Killer Kowalski defeats Gene Kanitsky to win the Montreal Athletic Commission World Heavyweight title in Montreal, Quebec to begin his ninth reign. Grooving into the 60s, 1965, the Assassins defeat Boris and Nikolai Volkov to win the WWA World Tag Team titles in Indianapolis, Indiana. Two years later in 1967, Tim and Rip Tyler defeat Bobby Fields and Ken Lucas for the NWA Gulf Coast Tag Team titles in Panama City, Florida. Our final stop in the 60s, 1968. Johnny Berend and Magnificent Maurice defeat Peter Maivia and Billy White Wolf to win the NWA Hawaiian Tag Team titles in Honolulu, Hawaii. Grabbing my bell bottoms and going to 1970. Paul DeMarco defeats Nick Bockwinkle in Atlanta, Georgia to win his third NWA Georgia heavyweight title. 1973, Bob Armstrong and Bill Drummo defeat the Super Infernos for the NWA Macon tag team titles in Macon, Georgia, beginning their third reign. Moving to 1976, NWA Tri-State held their first Superdome extravaganza at the Louisiana Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana, with a main event of NWA World Heavyweight Champion Terry Funk defeating NWA Tri-State North American Heavyweight Champion Bill Watts by TKO. Grabbing my boombox and going to the 80s, 1983. Ron Garvin defeats the Iron Sheik in Atlanta, Georgia to win the NWA National Television title. 1987, El Dandy defeats Kung Fu for the NWA World Middleweight title in Mexico City, Mexico. Sticking in 1987, Rufus R. Jones defeats Porkchop Cash in Kansas City, Kansas to win his third NWA Central States heavyweight title. Our final stop in the 80s, 1988, Viano 3 wins his third WWF light heavyweight title, defeating Rambo. Still on a positive Grabbing note. my flannel That's and right. going to the These decade of pro wrestling birthdays. 1990. Terry Gordy, 1926, for the All Japan NWA Triple Crown World's heavyweight champion, second reign. Edward Carpenter. He had to vacate the title 10 days later after being hospitalized Mighty after Igor. an overdose. On pain 1966, the Luchador WCW held Luke their first Demon bash Jr. at the beach pay-per-view at the Orlando Arena in Florida. ECW Zone, the main event, Chris sees Hulk Chetty. Hogan defeat Ric Flair to win the WCW it's World Big Heavyweight title. Bobby Lashley. Those were your short but sweet pro wrestling history highlights for July 17th. The former Mike I'm the Knox, Knox, Knox of Aces and Eights. Tomorrow.